Alrighty guys, checking out a new Ross in Vancouver, Washington. Alrighty guys, so M. Ross checking out the shoes and as you can see the shells are fully stocked, but with these right here. And better yet, So it's pretty bad in there. No shoes, no clothes, nothing even worth taking a chance on. I'm actually hanging out in Vancouver, Washington today. And if you guys are familiar with the area, you know the only thing that separates Portland and Vancouver is the Columbia River. So once you head over the bridge, you're actually in Washington. And from there, you actually have a three hour straight shot up into Seattle. But I know there's some money to be made somewhere in Vancouver. So let's keep rolling. Alrighty y'all, so another round of the Goodwill Outlet Finds of the Week, and as you all know, I'm at the Outlet five days a week, usually Monday through Friday, and it's easily the best bargain in town. You won't find cheaper items than at the Outlet, and these are a pair of new tags, Columbia Omni Shade Shorts for Men's, and Columbia, like I said before, is a big brand in Portland, it's actually based here, and these actually retail for $50, and these right here should do pretty well. Next up, I picked up two of these NBA hats right here. We got this Orlando Magic hat right here. It's a new era and it's great material and it's in great condition. And next to that, we got this Phoenix Sun hat right here in the team colorway. This one right here is actually a Mitchell and Ness hat right here. It's a snapback. And these hats right here were actually given to me from a buddy at the bin. So shout out to my buddy Rip. Next up, I found two of these Nike Oregon State football jerseys for men. Got the orange one right here and the black one right here. I'm guessing the same guy donated these right here because they both are a men size large. Men size large right here. And with college football getting ready to start over here pretty quick, these right here should do pretty decent. Next up, I found a pair of these Adidas vintage soccer shorts for men. Got the logo right there. See the vintage tag right here. And these are a men's size large. And I sell vintage Adidas soccer shorts all the time from the Goodwill outlet. So these right here should do pretty decent. Next up is this Nike Impossible Light running jacket for men's. Got a nice clean swoosh right here. And it's a men's size small. And for whatever reason, the Impossible Light jackets always sell really good for me right here. And it's super light, probably definitely less than like six ounces so super lightweight probably easily only costs probably 50 cents got the nice logo on the back and last but not least this was by far my find of the week we got this adidas los angeles lakers 2009 nba champions jacket right here this was the year that kobe was really grinding hard to win that first championship without shaq they beat the magic four to one in the finals that year i believe got the gold plate right here Got the gold zipper pockets right there. And it actually has some pretty cool graphics when you open it up. But right here you got the 2009 NBA Champions patch right there. You got the never underestimate the heart of the champion. So pretty cool right here. I was excited when I seen this one right here. And this was kind of weird because I think somebody was moving so fast they just thought it was a generic Adidas jacket. And it's a man size large. Got the tag right here. It also has a hood on it. And so I'm hoping that this one right here does pretty well. Here's the back of it right here. Alrighty guys, so this was the Goodwill Outlet Finds of the Week. And by far, as I always say, these are the best profit margin items. Alrighty guys, Raw Store 2 in Vancouver. Alrighty guys, so checking out some of the shoes right now and it looks like this Ross right here is the Champion Distribution Center. I mean, you got champions in here literally everywhere. There's another pair down here. Got these three box up top, both at 33. Comparable value at 45. But outside of that, nothing doing on the shoes in this Ross either. 
Alrighty guys, so checking out these Nike Air Fleece Sportswear pants right here for men in like a red, white, and blue colorway. And they are only 22 in here. And they do retail at 70 a men size medium. And right now online, you probably can pull in about 60 for these right here. So at 22, I'll go ahead and grab these right here. Checking out these Nike Vapor Pro Slim Fit Baseball pants right here in that gray colorway. And they are super cheaper, only 10 bucks. And they do retail at 30. And online, they're selling somewhere between 20 and 30. So at 10, I mean, I need to make a little bit more than that. So I'll be leaving these right here behind. But all right, checking out this Nike Florida State. Looks like it's like a lightweight hooded pullover right here, kind of like in that t shirt form. And it's uh, 20 bucks right here. And these do retail at. 50 and it's a man size 2xl but i can't find any salts on this model right here and this is the lighter weight version so at 20 i think i'm gonna leave this one behind got this nfl team apparel green bay packers polo right here got the nice logo right here on the side it is what 10 bucks here a man size 3xl Right here is a Minnesota Golden Gophers Nike Long Sleeve Look like it's more of a heavy duty shirt And it is uh, cheap at only 13 bucks It does retail at 75 and, But I just checked the comps on this right here It looks like people are only selling this right here for about 30 bucks So I mean sometimes it looks like the retail price is high But you put them online and it's a race to the bottom Got this Adidas Nebraska Corn Huskers uh, training pullover right here at 15 and it looks like it is a man size XL and these do retail at 60 but there are no solds on this one right here and it looks like the people that have this one listed looks like they have it listed somewhere around 30 bucks so at 15 I'll be leaving this one behind. Got this Fanatics Boogie Cousins jersey right here at 10 bucks. It's right here. But you guys know Boogie's bounced all over the place since he left New Orleans. Got this NFL Team Apparel Kansas City Chiefs polo right here. It is 10 bucks, a men's size XL. And online looks like you can get about 20 bucks for this right here. It looks like here is a Fanatics Youth KD Golden State Warriors jersey right here and it is super steep at 25 given the fact that katie don't even play in golden state anymore and it's a youth and looks like it's a youth size xl got another youth kd oklahoma city thunder jersey right here it looks like this one right here is an adidas super steep at 25 got the nike carson wentz jersey shirt for the philadelphia eagles as you guys know too little too late for him in philly Got the unbranded LeBron James Lakers jersey right there with the fresh number change. Got that six on the back, James at the bottom. And these right here are uh, 12 bucks. But again, online, these don't really sell for much. I think they only retail for like 30 bucks. So yeah, for like 30 bucks. But if you were just seeing this right here, would be a nice, good, and cheap way to kind of pick his jersey up. Alrighty guys, Plato's Vancouver.
got a lot of separation But this north face looks like a half zip pullover right here in the great hallway. It looks like it's a medium size XL. Alrighty guys, so empty handed leaving Play-Dohs, but there is a TJ Maxx right next door, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop in there and see if they have anything. Got a lot of Adidas leggings right here. This one's in that red and white color. These are 25, so pretty steep. Got this pink and white pair here. And these right here are 20. What are these? Looks like some Adidas as well. Some Under Armour. In the man section, checking out this Hey Arnold pullover hoodie sweatshirt right here. It is 20, and this was my show growing up as a kid. I used to wake up on Saturday mornings and watch Hey Arnold along with Doug and Rugrats. Got this North Face half zip fleece right here for men's. They got it for you at the low price of 30 here at TJ Maxx. It's a men's large. Looks like these retail at 59. on the shoes got these pumas right here at 40 compare at 60 Alrighty guys, so empty handed leaving both TJ Maxx and Play-Dohs. A lot of times sourcing comes down to just being consistent, getting lucky on the timing, and just staying motivated. Because a lot of times you can go from store to store, but you just never know what one store may have over the next one. So you have to just stay consistent, stay motivated, and just keep that hustler's mentality. Alrighty y'all, Goodwill, Vancouver. Checking out the shoes, looks like we got a pleat fest going on right here. Like literally cleats everywhere. Alrighty guys, so checking out this Nike Seattle Seahawks fan jersey right here. And looks like it's a bigger size of man's 3XL. And it's only 15 bucks right here. And I know football season is, is coming up pretty quick. And this one right here is consistently selling for like 50 bucks. And there's a lot of them that's been selling here lately too. And I'm guessing that's the football starting. And so at 15, I'll go ahead and pick this one up right here. Here is a pair of Nike Pro Hyper Cool leggings for men right here. And these are super cheap. They're only eight bucks here. And I sell these consistently from the bins for like 30 to 35 bucks. So at eight bucks, I'm gonna go ahead and snag this one right here up. Checking out this NFL G3 Denver Broncos suede jacket right there, and it's really nice. Got the patches right here. Got the AFC patch right here on the sleeve. And nice logo on the back right there. It looks like this is a man size XL. The Goodwill is straight tripping. I'm only 50 bucks for this jacket right here. And it looks like online, there's a wide variety of people who have this listed between like 60 and 100. And somebody did just accept the best offer, I believe, like a little while ago for like 60. So I'm guessing Goodwill must be checking eBay for comps on some of the items when they come in. But at this price right here, if this was probably 20 bucks, I would pick it up. But at 50, it's going to be a little bit too steep for me.